the way to 24, it talks about all the different people, all the different people that walk with God, how old Adam was. Adam uh, lived, uh, all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died. Seth lived 105 years and begot Enos, and lived after after begot Enos 807 years. That's a long time. All right. uh, the longest person in the Bible is Methuselah. Now, um, all the days of Methuselah, verse 27 were 969 years, and he died. Okay. So you see all these godly men uh, that are here. One name after another name after Sorry another about that. name after another name. Uh, and then finally, uh, you, see, you see Noah. Excuse me. And that's Genesis uh, 532. Now, Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begat Sham, Ham, and Japheth. And uh, they were his sons. Yeah, those were the uh, those were his sons. Now, it's the um, prejudiced people, uh, those that uh, would consider. Uh, the blacks to be the hams. Now, do you know? Uh, so the hams were the black race, and we'll, we'll find out why in a little bit. But uh, basically, um, Ham, uh, his uh, grand uh, grandson was cursed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that curse has been uh, debated for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, these are old time um, ways of looking at the Bible. Now, uh, some people say that's not true anymore, um, you know, uh, because all that generation has died. All I know is, if you're black, or you're poor, number one, you live in the ghetto, okay? Is that about right? You know, there's a lot of people that live in the ghetto, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they have no money. They send their kids to the worst schools where the teachers, you know, will take care of the kids till the 12th grade. They're not pushing them to get a good education. Mm -hmm. Some do manage to get it, but for the majority, uh, they don't get it. <clears throat> yep. mm -hmm. They just don't get it. So they're stuck in, in this society, and uh, even Martin Luther uh, Jr., a uh, black reverend, uh, he died. You know, and I don't think Brother Reverend uh, Martin Luther King Jr. died so that crack cocaine could be equally <laughs> as cheap for for everybody uh, as it is now. You know, uh, ten dollars. You know, we want to make sure everybody gets their ten dollar rock. All right, that's not why he died. He died so that everybody could get a good education and that the black people. Would, uh, would help each other. What they do instead is, uh, is, is almost, uh, and I'm talking about pretty much, and I'm just talking about blacks. There's white ghetto people, there's Hispanic ghetto people, uh, you got all kinds of folks out there um, that uh, basically they send their kids off when they come home. They use the TV for to help uh, them uh, babysit the kids because they got to work if they work at all. And if they do work, they still be use the TV to babysit. So the kids don't ever get smarter. 
So they're, they're never going to go to college. It's almost, if they do, it's community college or something like that. And, and so the jobs um, that, that uh, whites, on the other hand, uh, they're always pushing to try to get better, get better, get better, get better, get better jobs, get make more money, uh, learn, uh, learn what you got to do uh, to make more money. Um, you the, the, the highest divorce rate, if they get divorced at all, most of them sh a lot of them shack up now, is simply a, the uh, white trash, uh, black trash, uh, Hispanic trash, and they're trashy people because uh, they shack up because they have no values. They were never taught. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't go to church, so they didn't learn it. Uh, you know, and no one was told, you know, you're not supposed to do that. So they do. And uh, they get jobs, and most of them won't work. They get their, except for Trump, Trump's fixing to make them all go to work. Uh, he's going to make them all, uh, if you're handicapped, you better prove you're handicapped, because <laughs> yeah. if not, you ain't getting no money. All right, but, um, you know, uh, if he gets his way, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that uh, are going to be very upset with this man because he expects, he, you know, I saw one man, he, he ran a taco stand, and he had three, three, uh, mm -hmm. went to jail three times. But his, his, uh, Family said, "Well, he's not. He's nonviolent, even though he's been to jail three times. You know, and so we should give him another chance." Well, we did. We gave him three chances. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I mean, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I know you love the man, and uh, I know that. Uh, uh, you know, he had bad circumstances at the time, but that doesn't mean you take advantage of the system. So Ham, we're going to find out, was cursed by, uh, his grandchild was cursed by Noah. Mm -hmm. Now, so what I, the, the question I always ask is, is that curse still there? Well, again, uh, there is no relationship, there's no husband, there's no mommy and daddy for the kids to grow up, to grow up and say, I want to be just like my daddy, I want to be a gangbanger, just like my dad, I want to sell drugs, just like my dad, I want to, you know, I just can't wait to go out there and become a thief and, and steal and, and so be just like my daddy, you know. Uh, because the dad ain't there, and so there's nobody there. There's no there's no mo uh, role model to become a man, and so they're not taught to become a man. A man takes care of his family. Amen. He's gonna take care of his family, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, Ham, uh, we see that in verse 32. And uh, then we see Enoch walking with God in verse 21. Enoch in verse 22, he walked with God after he begot uh, Methuselah 300 years. And the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. He said, what happened? Well, Hebrews 11:5 says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. That's the way the rapture's going to be. This is the first, this is a picture. The Bible, the Old Testament that we read, is always a picture. You know why you have to have pictures? So that you can keep up with the story. Because half the time, in your mind, you do not keep up with it. So you watch it on the television, and you watch the movie, and you're watching the movie, or you're reading the book, because you have no imagination because you've never learned how to read. I mean, when's the last time you read a book for fun? Well, you didn't. 
You know why? Because you were never taught to read a book for fun in school. Your parents never encouraged you to read a book for fun in school. No, none of your family or friends or anything like that. And so for that reason, now you suffer, okay? And you're not educated enough to read the words because you don't know what the words mean. It's hard. And it's hard. So Enoch... God just said, "Hey, you, we we out of here, man." Uh, God told Enoch, "He said, man, you've been you've been following with me, walking with me, talking with me. We've been good friends all this time. Uh, I'm just going to take you to heaven. Let's just go to heaven now." And uh, and he did. Uh, what a statement! Enoch pleased God. Wouldn't you like God for uh, for God to say and look at your life and say? God was pleased with your life. Mm -hmm. Your life, not my life, not the preacher's life. Uh, wouldn't you like to say, you know, God was pleased with this church, uh, that he was pleased with us. Uh, what a blessing if, if God could say that. But he said that about Enoch. He, Enoch wanted to be around the Lord. He wanted to do something for the Lord. Most of them so called Christians, they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to invite nobody to church. They don't care if anybody comes to church. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just not that way anymore. But he 